I get rid of this? Oh, wait, it just uh, moved on me. Um, it's up to you, really. You can keep it or lose it. Okay, if you stay right there, I'm going to come um, to that side of you. Maybe take just a half step that way, tiny step. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay, great. Welcome to RCR Wireless News. I'm Martha DeGrasse, and I'm here with Derek Peterson. He is CTO at Boingo Wireless. Derek, thanks so much for making the time today. Thanks for letting me join you. So you have a lot of experience with the cable operators and their forays into Wi-Fi. Can you share your perspective with us? You know, I'm really excited about the cable operators getting involved in Wi-Fi. I think it's a, a great move for the industry. You know, they're part of the WBA now, and I'm excited for them to be there. I think the insight is is they're really pushing hard, and they're pushing out a lot of Wi-Fi, which is a good thing for the for the industry. And for consumers. And what about the wireless carriers? Where, where are they, in your opinion? You know, the wireless carriers are are playing a little slow. Um, you know, they're they're a little bit, I think, concerned, and you'll, you'll hear in my speech, I'm going to talk about fear and control. I think they're afraid of uh, impacting their existing consumer base. Right. Now, t can you give us a little bit of an update on, on Passpoint and the progress there? Yeah, uh, so Passpoint's coming along. We have a Passpoint at 26 airports right now and, and growing. Uh, we also have a, a roaming relationship with Time Warner Cable that we announced. So a Time Warner Cable subscriber can roam on Boingo and a Boingo subscriber can roam on Time Warner Cable and all through Passpoint. It's it's nice, it's secure, it's, it's what the consumers need. All right. And with the iPhone 6, we're hearing a lot more about voice calling over Wi-Fi. Do you see that coming along quickly and, and um, how do you see that playing out for, for the carriers? Well, I think Apple's doing what they do. They're really being a disruptor, and I think that that's good. You know, Wi-Fi calling has been out, you know, through other carriers for a while, like uh, T-Mobile and, you know, Sprint's working on it as well. I think uh, the iPhone supporting it, I think it's great. It's going to end up helping push this along and, and really enable it. I'm a personal user of uh, Wi-Fi calling. I use it all the time. I think it's great. All right, great. So what can we look for from Boingo over the next 6 to 12 months? What well, you're going to see a continued push out of, uh, of Wi-Fi. You're going to also see us uh, start introducing our smart networks. We talked about it uh, last, uh, I think yesterday we made an announcement. And it's really just about building those networks so that they give the end user everything that they need. Are we going to start to not know as we move from cellular to Wi-Fi? It's going to be something that as, as a user we're not really aware? You know, it happens to me today. I have a profile on my on my iPhone, and as I go to the airport, I was at LAX, I pull the device out of my uh, pocket, and I start using my, my data, checking my email, and then all of a sudden I look and I see that little Wi-Fi symbol, and I'm using Wi-Fi. And now with the phone over it, you know, it's also going to be, you know, I pick it up, I start making a phone call. It's just going to be there. I'm going to be on, using Wi-Fi. So, yes, I think that's, that's the idea. That's the hope. I think that's what the consumer wants. All right, Derek Peterson, Boingo Wireless, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, hope you make your next meeting. Thank you.